Hey guys, it's your boy Loza here, and today we're going to be talking about how to beat Crossout Designator, as well as how we might play Crossout Designator. Let's go. So what's crazy is, combo decks don't just have Crossout Designator, they've got that one called by, meaning they can stop a whole plethora of hand traps here. Obviously called by doesn't hit Nibiru or Gamma, but, uh, or Imperm, but Crossout does hit those, which means they've got four cards in their main deck. Which, uh, that means uh, 1 in 4 games, I believe, they're going to see them. Uh, sorry, 4 in 10 games, they're going to see at least one of these. And that's going to be pretty useful in, you know, just negating your opponent. It means decks like Infernoble, decks like uh, Phantom Knights, anything combo-based, um, even like Drytron, for example, are just going to thrive with cards like these. Um, it's going to be kind of crazy and hard to beat for Dark Magician. I do have some theories on how we can beat them, or how we can play around Crossout Designator. So let's just go over to my second deck list here. Now these obviously aren't deck lists, they're more just sheets of cards. Um, so Crossout Designator and Called By are probably not going to be used on Phantasme. I don't think many people will be playing Phantasme, so I think it's a safe hand trap for us to play, not to mention it's Dark, it's Dragon, it's level 7, like it's all things Dark Magician. The only problem with that is Phantasmate doesn't get us to anything. It normally gets you into your Nibiru or gets you into your Super Poly. Like, you want to play Phantasmate alongside a powerful hand trap that wins you games. And that hand trap I've gone with, as you can clearly see, is Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, which is a questionable choice, but let's get into why I've got it here. Now, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries is more of a like tier zero format card. So, like in Spiral format, this card's amazing because if you just got rid of their uh, double helix, you won the game. Um,. So this, I uh, take this with a grain of salt, this isn't the perfect answer to cross out, but I can guarantee you, your opponent will never have a cross out designated target for your cherries. Uh, they can always call by the gray bits. So, <laughs> you know, what? If, if they open up this instead of this, yeah, you can't do much about it. Um, so the cool thing about Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries is there's so many cards that we can hit in the meta because Dark Magician doesn't really need its extra deck that much. There's a couple of essential Dark Magician cards like Artemis, Anaconda, Dragoon, uh, I'm Duck. Um, I'm never going to say this card name right, sorry. Um, but apart from that, everything's pretty flexible in this deck, right? So we could have stuff like Zeus, uh, the Drytron Xe. Obviously, if people go into Anaconda, you can just slap down Winter Cherries and show them Dragoon, and they have to banish all the Dragoons. Uh, you probably should do it after they've paid 2k. Uh, Mecha if invoked, you know, play their invocation. You can just be like, ah, oh, chain Winter Cherries. Um, if you know they're going for game on you, you can Winter Cherries and get rid of access code. If they're playing Boral Sword, though, you're kind of fucked anyway. Um, Halk, if you know they're a combo deck, can be useful. Uh, I'm not sure about these ones, so take these with the Green Assault once again. Uh, Prank Kids Meow Meow, I think this is the card you want to hit in Prank Kids. Not 100% sure. Same with Salad, this might be a better target. A Dragon Link, it's so hard to narrow down what to hit. Uh, pfft, even if you hit the Savage, they're just going to make the Chaos Dragon uh, anyway. So this doesn't seem in right, but also Romulus doesn't seem right too, because Spheres could probably be here too, but I don't know. It feels weird to put Spheres in here. Like, I don't know. Spheres is probably their best card though. But anyway, you can see Winter Cherries has some potential. Uh, and if we line it up with Phantasme, you'll notice we've got a lot of Darks. And that means we could play stuff like Allure of Darkness. Now let's get into Allure of Darkness and what I've got here. Now a lot of people have been talking to me and been saying, oh, prep at 3 feels bricky, blah, blah, blah. And they always say they want to cut prep to 2. And that really confuses me, because in my opinion, prep is a, not a once per turn card. Meanwhile, the Illusion of Chaos is. So I always say to them, why don't you just play 2 Illusion of Chaos and 3 prep then? And they're always like, why? And I always have to explain it, and I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> like... This says not once per turn, this says once per turn. Like, that, it's as simple as that. They both can bait Ash, they both can get you drolled. People don't, like, need to stop trying to play around droll, by the way, because, guess what, Magician Draw searches, like, you, you can't just play your deck and not search. Like, you search a lot in this deck, or you lose, so... Don't try to play around draw, like, unless you have a hand that somehow can. Uh, it's so dumb. Like, it's normal summon your Magician's Rod and search. Don't not search because of draw. I don't know. It sounds really dumb, but people are always telling me, like, oh, I don't want to get drawled, and I really don't understand. If your opponent opens draw, you're getting draw. Like, there's no... Unless you open Call by your Designator, you're getting draw, bro. Like, just play. Anyway. Got a bit off topic there, but hey, drawrant.net. The other cool thing with prep, uh, people will be like, oh, I brick on too many prep. Grab this card. Uh, I don't know how to say it. I'm not going to pronounce it. Someone told me how to say it the other day. I still forget. Uh, what is it? It's 
Sorovus? I'm going to say it's Sorovus or something. Um, but anyway, it's a dragon that can protect your Anaconda, which is really damn good. Now, don't forget that we also play the Sky Striker package, and they have a wonderful card. Obviously, we play drones, and obviously, we play Engage. Where did Engage go? But they have a wonderful card called Eagle Booster. Now, you can play Eagle Booster as well, and this kind of serves the same purpose as our Ritual Dragon Boy over here. What they do is they protect Anaconda. So your opponent would go Imperm on your Anaconda after you say Effect, and you could chain this. Or you could chain Equal Booster. The problem with them is if they have another um, Effect Failure or another Imperm, obviously the yeah, Anaconda's not resolving. But these are kind of counter cards we can play to cross out Designator. Cross out Designator needs to have the same card in the deck to banish and call. Sorry, you declare the name and then you banish. If you play freaking this card, who the fuck else is playing this? No one. No one will play this. So they're not going to have an answer to this. If you played call by on their effect failure, they could just chain cross out designator, get rid of their call by, or claim, sorry, declare their call by, banish it, and then boo-hoo, your call by doesn't resolve. No one's going to be playing this ritual monster in their deck, okay? And no one's going to be playing Eagle Booster except for Sky Striker players. So I think it's pretty safe to say you could get away with adding this to your Sky Striker engine in Dark Magician, and you could get away with playing this to add to your prep engine. Now, obviously, we don't have this card yet in the TCG, and it is a little bit uh, off. Like, I don't think we're getting it till the end of the year, maybe next year even. But hey, this is all theorizing for the future and the future of this deck, which is, hey, it, we're going to catch up to the OCG at some point and get all these cards. So we may as well plan for it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, they can cross out Designator Red Eyes Fusion, so now me playing 3 ref doesn't seem that viable anymore, does it? On the contrary, we can use Red Eyes Fusion alongside cross out Designator calling Ash, meaning it's resolving. In conclusion guys, I think these are the cards we're going to use to help beat cross out Designator or play around it. Um, Saw Ravis, as we know, is a light ritual. We can actually summon it, we probably never will, but if you do with Secrets and Dark Magician, you can bounce it back to hand with its effect. It just reads that if your opponent would special summon a monster, you can quick effect, return this card to the hand, negate the summon, and then banish that monster. So you actually get it back in the hand, similar to how Magician, oh, sorry, Illusion of Chaos works. So that's a really interesting thing. It's a dragon, so in the grave, when you do discard it, obviously you can uh, use it for a Magicalized Fusion play, so that's really nice too. It's a level 7, I don't think that'll ever come up though. Winter Cherries is very good in a tier 0 meta, but don't sleep on it. At your locals, it can be really good. You know what everyone's playing at your locals, so <laughs> use that to your advantage. Get all their boss monsters in your in your extra deck or your side, and just fucking go off with this card. It's great. Uh, don't forget it's a dark, and it's a tuner. So it doubles up as a lure fodder, and it also doubles up as making uh, Hauk combos. You can normal summon this, summon your souls, go on a Hauk. Boom, you've got access code and all that jazz. You'll love to see it. Uh, Phantasme, another fantastic card. Um, it's everything Dark Magician needed in a hand trap. It's dark, it's a dragon, it's level 7. Uh, I don't really like making Xyz currently, but if Anaconda gets hit or whatever, we can maybe go back to making Xyz a bit more, and this card facilitates for that. Um, not to mention, it's very good in a link format, and I believe we're in a pretty heavy link format right now. Feel free to main deck these cards when we get the Crossout Designator release. Uh, remember that we only really want to play this when we are playing prep for the Illusion of Chaos, so you don't have to main deck this just yet. But I do think Nibiru is still necessary. Yes, Crossout Designator hits it, but I don't think we have a choice. Nibiru is just what keeps us in the game, not to mention it's a body on the board for us to either make Anaconda with or just make plays with, like, just swing into the token. Um, and Dark Magician does lack that some of the time, the removal to um, deal with, like, a big Dragon Link board or, like, an Infernoble Knight board. Um... So yeah, while we do lose to cross out, we still got to play this, I think. And if you're playing it alongside Phantasme and Ghost Reaper, I think you're going to be fine, to be honest. Remember, you can't play around everything at the end of the day. Obviously, you're going to try your best to, um, but I think this is the best thing we can do going forward.